Every holiday season, you may, may notice those standing outside businesses ringing a red kettlebell. While they aren't doing it just to spread cheer, but also for a good cause, Major Sergeant Jerry O'Neill joins us live in the studio to hear more about how you can volunteer to be a Salvation Army bell ringer. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thanks, Kate. Good morning. I'm excited to hear about this volunteer opportunity for the community. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, it's a great, great opportunity uh, to do that. This is our largest single fundraising campaign of the year, and so it's a very focused window. We start on Friday. We we go to Christmas Eve uh, and it's a great opportunity for families to be involved. Uh, you know, if you're five or 95, you can bell ring. It's a great opportunity, uh, again, to get folks together to do that. Uh, we're partnering again with Riddle's Jewelry this year. So for every two hour slot that you volunteer for, your name will get put in for the Ring for Bling. Beautiful diamond pennant necklace. Uh, that we'll do a drawing for at the end of the season. So every two hour slot you do that. It's an easy process. You can go to register to ring .com and you can sign up. You can pick your location. You can pick your time. Uh, if you're kind of old school like me, you don't do computers. You can call the office at 605-342-0982 and ask for Angie and she can get you hooked up as well. All right, so that sounds super easy to get involved. Absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit about where these donations go? Well, it's our largest, our largest seasonal program is, is our Christmas distribution for our food boxes and our angel tree program. And then uh, throughout the year, we have a food pantry. We've got, uh, we work with Black Hills Cares to administer a program for utility assistance. Uh, we work with folks who need clothing. We work with other agencies and things like that. So it's just a great, great opportunity uh, to really get out and support your fellow neighbors in our community. And uh, how long are these shifts? Can you do kind of an all day shift and get drawn into the um, Riddles jewelry thing? Absolutely, you can, uh, they're minimum two hour shifts. So you can sign up for two hours, you can sign up for eight hours. I mean, you can take as many for every two hour shift you sign up for, your name will get put in for the drawing once. Mm, all right, there you go. Now, where are some of the locations that you can see some of these uh, red kettlebell ringers? Oh, all over, the, the Walmarts, the Safeways, the Family Fairs. We're very thankful for all the businesses who have allowed us to be there and support them and, and uh, to support us. And again, that's just a great opportunity, I think, to reach out and help our folks in the community. That's right. And before we wrap up here, can you tell me a little bit about what else the Salvation Army does for our community? Yeah, we absolutely. We want to we continue to partner with many agencies to figure out how we can make people's lives better in a very positive way. Uh, that might be clothing. It might be food. It might be long term case management. It might be partnership with another agency. You know, that's the great thing about this community is there's such a great desire for agencies to work together. And when we do that, two great things happen. We have a very high level of service delivery and I think a good sense of stewardship for folks who donate to the organizations, whether it be the Salvation Army or somebody else, they know, their use, they know that their resources are being used. And so we're so thankful for the trust that has been given to us and we're thankful for the support that we get on a daily basis to assist everybody in our community. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing those red kettlebell ringers around town. And you can also look on our website to check out how you can get involved in volunteering for that Salvation Army program. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you. We'll be right back. Mimi Herrick is live.